Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn new topic bearing. First, I will explain the basic concept of bearing. This is compass direction. We must know the direction. First, where is north? East, west, and south. North is the direction in which a compass needle normally point. This is the bearing of a point is the angle measured in degrees in a clockwise direction from the north. Bearing are written in three digit form from 00, zero degree to 360 degree. The north are considered as bearing 000, zero, zero degree. Example, state the bearing for each of the following compass angles. Okay, A. So what is our answer here? Zero, three, five. Must remember, we write in three digit form. Just now we learned already, right? Okay, so B also quite simple. Measure the angle from north to the line and make sure the direction is clockwise direction answer for b is 230 degree now the angle from north to the line is 120 degree 18 minute so we can write as 120 degree 18 minute okay or you write it in degree you know how to change the minute to degree one degree equal to 60 minutes so adding divided by 60 if you count by using calculator you will get 0 0.3 yeah? so 120 degree plus 0 0.3 3 degree. So if we write in degree form is 120.3 degree. Here both answer we can accept D. Remember the bearing of a point must measure in degrees in a clockwise direction from the north. So from the north here clockwise direction until the line. This one is in anti-clockwise, so not the answer. That's why we need to minus, right? You know, one whole turn is 360 degree. So 360 degree minus 30.5. You count it, it will equal to 29.5 degree. Okay, state the bearing of point F from point G based on the given information. So we must remember the angle measured from the north to the line. Our bearing is written in three digit form. So you must, you must add zero at the front. Zero, four, eight degree. Question number two, bearing of F from G. So the angle measure from the north to the line and clockwise direction, 135 degree. B, find the bearing of point G from point F based on the given information because you draw a compass direction pointing north at f make sure that line you know is an arrow like this make sure it's parallel to this line these two lines parallel ah. okay so next step you measure the angle from the north to the line Okay, so this is bearing of point G from point F. So my, this part actually is 
180 degree, correct or not? From here is 48. We get angle from the alternate angle here. So this angle equal to 48 degree. So the total angle from here go to the line GF, you just add it. 100. So bearing of G from F is 180 degree plus 48 degree. So and 28 degree. We discuss question number four. Again, the bearing of point G from point F. So if from point F means first, first thing you need to draw a compass direction pointing north at F. So the line compass direction must follow this line, must parallel. So I draw the compass direction first. Okay, this is north. Then only you measure the angle from north to the line. So from north to the line, always clockwise direction. Okay. So bearing of G from F is here. So you need to find the value of this angle. Okay. How to find the value of this angle? You also can use uh, alternate angle. So here, if I extend the line here, draw the line longer, this angle, these two angles are alternate angle. So how to get this angle is 300 and 328 degree minus 180 degree. So what you will get, 148 degree of G from F is equal to 148 degree. Number five. Bearing of point G from point F. So you must remember, if from point F, draw a compass direction pointing north at F. And now you see, the, here you will see the north direction is like this. So just now I mentioned already, uh, the line pointing north are parallel. So to draw the parallel lines, the angle from the north, to the line FG, then only you stop. So now the bearing of G from F is here. How I get this value? Again, I extend the line here. So from here to here, you know, half turn, 180. Okay, draw the angle here, 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 alternate angle, right? You, you still remember why it's alternate angle, like Z, right? In Z here is, so here is 73 degree. Alternating G from F, here to here, right? So 180 plus 73 degree. Total is 253 degree. Okay, bearing G from point F, so another compass direction from point F parallel to it. Okay, this is north angle from north direction from point F. Here, yeah. turn to the line GF. Okay, again, we need to find this angle. Okay. So this, uh, for this part, we always use alternate angle. Eh? So you extend the line. Okay, here is 180 degree. And here, alternate. So you get 147 degree here. So the bearing of G from F, 180 plus 147. Okay, so what is your answer for this one? 300 27 degree. Okay. Maybe some of you will ask, teacher got another way to find the angle or not. Okay, I can show you. Okay, if you don't want to use alternate angle, you can find this angle first. 
you already learned before interior angle right uh, so if interior angle this angle is 180 minus 147 so 100 to do what the three degree right 160 minus 33 degree you also can get 327 degree need to like and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you